football, Brian returns to Tiger Stadium. Oh, thank God, yes, football. Under Coach Les Miles, the Tigers are 30-0 and when it comes to night games in Tiger Stadium. Saturday night, head coach Bobby Johnson brought his revamped Vanderbilt squad in the Death Valley to try to mess up that perfect record. However, Brian, Keelan Williams and company had a, their own scheme cooked up for the Commodores, so let's go ahead and roll those highlights. While Jordan Jefferson was getting things warmed up on the field, Matthew McConaughey, hey, 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 goodbye in the Texas burnt orange. He kept the fans entertained. Russell Shepard, the highest how to recruit on his second play of the Tiger, catches a slant round for eight yards, but <coughs> coughs it up for an LSU fumble. It's all right, Brian, because the next drive, Terrence Oliver with a little bit of magic right here, and then next, the fake fullback handoff, but it's a pitch out to Keelan Williams as he rumbles and stumbles and dives for the Tigers' early lead, 7-2-0. Moving right on into the second quarter, Vanderbilt quarterback Larry Smith fakes the handoff here, drops the ball, has time to pick it up and score it for the Vanderbilt touchdown. The Tigers will still lead, though, by a score of 10-7. Moving on into the second half, Brian, the Tigers, Russell Shepard in the Wildcat formation, running to the outside. Russell Shepard, a lot of wheels on him in this game, getting into great field goal position, but they have to settle for a Josh Jasper field goal to go up 16-7. And in the fourth and final quarter, Keelan Williams takes the option run for a gain of 12 yards here, and I, an I, LSU Tiger. I, Brian, first. Brian, I'm going to let you finish, but this is one of the greatest plays of all time, as Keelan Williams runs it into the end zone to pad out the score for the Tigers, as the Tigers would hold on to lead and go on to win by a final score of 23-9. Keelan Williams carried the offensive load for LSU, leading the team in rushing yards with 72 on the day on 10 carries. And he also scored the Tigers' only two touchdowns. LSU returns to Tiger Stadium next weekend, where they'll host in-state foe, the University of Louisiana at Lafayette.